Today on Toy Shoes, select your characters and prepare to fight. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're heading back to the Mortal Kombat 11 universe with two playable characters now turned into figures. We got the Joker, of course, straight from the DC universe. Joker right there. On the box, and on the side of the box, you get a nice photo, likewise on the back of the box. And of course, here is the barcode if you want to screen grab it, so you can scan it in store when these start to hit. And then we have a brand new skin, straight from the game, for Spawn. And this is the Malefic Spawn, that's the skin name. Anyways, yeah, it's a cool looking Spawn figure, finally uh, one that's... Not just a blueberry or orange tangerine spawn. Here's the barcode as well. He's starting to hit stores now. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Make sure it's really hot so when you throw it on your opponent, well, that'll be, well, that'll be my fatality, I guess. <laughs> this is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys' Mortal Kombat 11, The Joker from the DC Universe and Malefic Spawn. And while I got you guys here, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, I guarantee you'll find something that you like. Now, here are the two figures taken out of the packaging. And we'll say right off the bat, there's a cool one. And then there's one where you're like, nah, I wish a little bit more effort was just put forward. So we'll kick it off with the Joker. And you do get... A really cool looking knife, it's nicely sculpted, you got silver for the blade, and you got a nice brown for the handle. However, as you'll soon see, handle, it's a little bit too thick, we'll say. Likewise, on the Joker's cane. Now, I like that this is the exact cane from the actual video game. It's nicely done, you got a skull, it's more like a pickaxe kind of cane. It's very thick cane, we'll say that. But nice silver details all around, you get the Mortal Kombat stand, and then you get... The Joker, and I will tell you this, I think that that's a great head sculpt. But it looks like a head sculpt of a guy that's kind of cosplaying the Joker. And that's how I kind of feel about the design of the Mortal Kombat 11 Joker. Now, I'm saying it doesn't translate best when you're trying to do an action figure. Because, yes, they made an action figure exactly what you see in the game. He's got really nice sculpted details, line work. Everything looks great, but there's really no paint to this guy. And as you can see, the actual character design for the video game, a lot of stuff really would have elevated this figure. And when you collect McFarland toys, as long as I have, you get used to a certain amount of paint details that I really think they should have nailed in this sense. So yes, the suspenders, the shirt, the jacket, all could have used paint because when you look at the face, it's, it's overly detailed, whereas the rest of the body is not, and I noticed that within the three Jokers wave that just came out. Really awesome Joker face sculpts, this guy, but it doesn't match the rest of the body. It just looks overly plastic, unfortunately. And when you kind of move his legs around, you're going to get some stress marks around the more diaperish kind of area. I'm not a big fan of that. Overall, this figure's got great articulation, and he does hold his weapons, although I'll reiterate, I think they're a little bit too... Big or a little bit too thick. He also has trigger holding hands, so if you have extra guns, you can do that because the DC figures aren't going to be having guns. But you can see, yeah, the cane, again, it works, but I think it's just a little bit too thick for the character. And I'll point this out, he photographs well. Not to knock the fact that he comes with two accessories, which is nice to see, and they're accessories that you expect from the Joker in that sense. So, in all honesty, this is okay. But I'm going to say, yeah, it's just kind of a pass, to be honest. However, in looking at the new Malefic Spawn, you get these accessories, which are Necro Blasts. And we saw these with the Spawn McFarlane Kickstarter from last year. And while it's, I mean, it's okay to see reuse, and I'm glad he has some kind of powers. Something else would have been great, but I'm glad he does have accessories. Let's say that. Likewise, the stand. But this is a very cool looking Spawn. Now, as I understand it... This is supposed to be designed as, like, if Spawn existed in the Mortal Kombat universe, this would be his costume. As per an interview that McFarlane had previously done. And for me, it definitely works. I mean, it's very cool to see all the sculpted details and the skulls. I love the gauntlets on his arms and everything else. His boots. All the little skull work. I'll say it. All day. Yes. 
some paint would have been great to just really make this guy pop. But unlike the Joker, this guy has a lot more paint and detail going on for me to go, okay, yeah, I mean, there's silver plating on this. Yes, I would have loved to have seen the straps painted. Underneath the cape, you get to see all the details continued. It's the same exact cape we have seen with previous Mortal Kombat 11 spawn offerings. But for me, again, while it may share some parts and pieces with previous spawn releases, this is an entirely new character to me. So that's very cool. And I love the head. I love the sculpted details and the green eyes definitely work. It's a spooky looking spawn. He's got basically the same exact articulation, but I will say that around his legs is where you'll see some hindered movement with all the different draperies around his legs and groin area, but he's got double jointed knees. I love the skulls. I love that the boots are different. Even the gauntlets on the arms are different. Even his shoulder armor up top. It just really gives some definition and a welcome new spawn, new look to spawn that I think the MK11 line was severely lacking. So this guy is definitely one for me. And if you do look at the video game artwork, yes, he does look like he stepped right out of the video game, of course. There are other versions of this suit where he has the boot, right? The famous Spawn boot. And so I'm sure that they will revisit this look for Spawn in later days with all the different color combinations. But I do like the Necro Blast effects. I think it really makes him pop. Give him a DC Multiverse stand, have him levitate above the ground. And still to this day, I would love to see the fatality from Spawn. Give him a little piece in the back, hold all the weapons and the guns, and just annihilate the enemies with that fatality. That would be awesome. But I think honestly where this really shines is that it's, in my head canon, we'll say, a brand new enemy for Al Simmons. So this doesn't have to be Al Simmons. This could be a really cool old fashioned spawn or one that can team up with the Raven spawn because they do look really good together. Or heck, go the hell spawn route. One of Bulge's boys, right? Have Mal Bulge's army. And I mean, that works for me in that sense. That's a really cool armored up Malefic spawn. But get ready to choose your character because like I said, while you have the regular spawn, the standard Al Simmons, we have gotten a ton of repaints. <laughs> from Blueberry to Malefic to Orange Tangerine, and now we got Nude Spawn. But he will team up nicely with Angela, if you wanted to go that route as well. Marvel Legends fans, you'll see, yeah, he scales the normal scale for the Spawn MK11 figure, or heck, go him against Batman. He'll scale well with the DC Multiverse. With the Joker, again, he will be around the same height as the three Jokers Joker, which is my new favorite Joker, to be honest with you. He'll go well with the new Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, and of course, the Year 2 Batman. So to wrap things up nicely in a little McFarlane bow, I will tell you this. The Joker, he's got some great elements to him. If he had more paint in the sense to really make all the sculpted details pop, I think he would have been whole lot better but for me honestly it's kind of a i think you'll be better off with any of the three jokers figures thus far he does have a great head sculpt to him but i'll reiterate it's it looks like a guy in a cosplay outfit and that's really going towards the video game not so much the action figure because yes they did make exactly what's shown in the video game malefic spawn now me being a huge spawn fan of course i was like, oh yeah i love it it's great it's great right well yeah, on the other hand, it looks like a brand new Spawn character and not necessarily Al Simmons. Could be a guy hunting Al Simmons. I love what they did with him. I love the paint and the reds, the Necro Blast, the armor. Everything really pops. Sure, could have had a little bit extra paint detail on him. But he's got so much going on and he looks cool. So in that sense, I definitely recommend this guy. Joker, I'll leave it to you, but I'll be saying all day, yeah, I think you're better off with three Jokers. Malefic Spawn. Uh, he is A-OK. -okay. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these two new figures. Will you be grabbing? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Mortal Kombat 11. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, November is here. And that means Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Get ready for some great eats and some great looks at some toys. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.